Hey cycling fans, welcome to another episode of This Week in American Cycling. As always, Dave Toll here with Brad Soner. We had a great week this week. We're going to start with Track Nationals out in Carson, racing for the Stars and Stripes jersey out there. Then we're going to move to talking about some UCI mountain bike racing. The World Cup goes to Andorra this week. We've got crit racing from the legendary Longs Joe Classic, and we're going to check in with the Americans racing at the Giro Rosa and Tour de France coming up on This Week in American Cycling. Solid week of racing at the track as they wrapped up a big block over in Pennsylvania at T-Town and then everyone's shifting gears moving over to some Stars and Stripes action as we'll be looking to national championships happening in Carson, California at the Velo Sports Center. Let's jump right in with the scratch races as Colorado swept the podium with Eric Young taking gold ahead of Colby Lang and Danny Summerhill. Lang made up for that one though as he is part of the gold medal winning team in the team pursuit racing with Shane Klein, Grant Koontz, and the amazing Ashton Lambie. Jen Valente and Kendall Ryan put on a great show in the women's scratch race with Valente taking gold and a good ride by Megan Jastrab as well in third. She was all over the podium this week. You're going to be hearing that name a lot over the next few years. Team Pursuit Gold goes to the squad of Jessica Chong, Haley Bates, Danielle Morshead, and Kate Wilson. In the sprint finals, Mandy Markhart and James Mellon picked up gold medals there. Both riders had great results last week in T-Town and they took that momentum with them over to Carson. Mellon even set a track record back in Pennsylvania. Then it was on to the individual pursuit where Pride of Kansas, Ashton Lambie beats John Croom, breakthrough rider here in 2019, and a nice win for Molly Van Howling as well as she gets the better of Elijah Beatty. Great racing in the Madison as well, maybe the most exciting discipline on the track if you ask me. Adrian Hedgeberry and Daniel Holloway team up to take gold for the men with a silver medal for the team of Eric Young and Gavin Hoover. Shane Klein links up with Justin Williams, they take a bronze medal. Young superstar Megan Jastrab was back at it as she paired up with the legend Jennifer Valente to pick up a gold medal in front of veterans Christina Birch and Kim Geist. With a nice ride from Elspeth Hyatt and Taylor Crane, they end up third in the Madison, which takes us to the final day of racing, ending the weekend with the points race. No surprise here as Jen Valente and Adrian Hedgevari find a couple more gold medals. Valente also won the Omnium, but uh, Hedgevari had to settle for second there behind overall winner Gavin Hoover. From track to mountain bike, the UCI World Cup resumes in Andorra. Val Nord, to be exact, and American Kate Courtney looking to defend her overall series lead. She had a rough ride in the cross country, but still ended up in the top 10 with an eighth place, but she salvaged the weekend with another podium, third in the short track. That narrows her lead, but she's still the top woman in the sport. Other notable rides include Leah Davison in 15th in the cross country event and Keegan Swenson goes top 20 at 18th for the men there. Also want to give a special shout out to junior Anna Newkirk for her second place in the junior downhill. Another great result for the 2018 World Championship silver medalist. Get used to hearing that name. One of America's most legendary criteriums, the Longzo Classic was this week as well. Newly crowned National Criterium Champion Emma White made short work of this one as she crushes the field, followed by her brother Curtis winning the pro men's race later in the day. It's quite a day for the White family there in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. Well, it's certainly worth noting there's a lot of racing happening in Europe right now. Brad, I'll take the women's side of things as the Giro Rosa has kicked off with Leah Thomas, Katie Hall, Alexis Ryan, Taylor Wiles, and Ruth Winder. And Ruth Winder getting to show off her uh, new national champions jersey. It's been quite a start to the race there. Four American men in the Tour de France with TJ Van Garderen, Chad Haga, Ben King, and Joey Roscoff. Don't forget you can watch both of those races. Trek Bikes has daily Giro Rosa updates on their website and NBC. You can watch live coverage with the NBC Sports Gold Cycling Pass, so be sure to watch those. That's it for this week's show. For Dave Toll, I'm Brad Stoner. We're going to go catch up on the Giro Rosa and Tour de France. Suggest you do the same, and we'll see you back here next week.